What is up everybody, it's Cobes here and today I'm back with a Fortnite video in today's video. We're gonna go over the Wingman, the new starter pack skin. So if you guys did not know, I think you get 500 V-Bucks. Maybe it's 600, someone correct me if I'm wrong. I think it's 600. You get one back bling and one skin for $5. So I think it's a pretty good deal, but is it worth it? I think right off the bat, if we go to the shop, so for 10 bucks, you get 1,000 V-Bucks. So if you spend five bucks, you know, you get 600 V-Bucks, a skin and a back bling. So yes, I do think it's worth it, but let's go over this skin and see if it's any good. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna try out every back bling on this skin and we'll see which one I like the most. So Black Shield, definitely looking good on the Wingman. Oh, Cuddle Bow, yes. I like the Dark Matter as well. Dark Void, not really feeling it. Fish Tank, uh, no, you could definitely skip that. Hatchling looks pretty good. Um, I wouldn't say it fits the best out of all these skins, but the red and red go pretty well together. And then this obviously goes decently well um, with him. Astro, it's looking all right. I think you could definitely rock it. Scaly, no. Royale Flags, I think they look good with almost everyone. It's kind of a weird design, but I still like it. Raptor Satchel, all right. Mer Tank, Love Wings. Yep, Love Wings are definitely looking good. I like this, of course. Um, Iron Cage, I think, looks good on almost everyone. Bright Bag doesn't look terrible, but doesn't really fit his design. Buckler, good. Burgle Bag, good. Cont or, um, Catalyst, good. Contagion, <laughs> no. Um, Goody Bag, definitely not. Any of these skiing backlink. Oh, this one actually looks good, the Canadian one. Um, the USA one looks decent, actually. I wasn't expecting that. I probably wouldn't use that one. Germany, no. UK, no. France, uh, I guess. Whatever. And then the Chinese one looks all right. But I really think this Canadian one looks the best with his um, skin skin design. I think it almost fits perfectly. The Rust Bucket, yes. Um, pathogen, probably not. I wouldn't use it. So let's go over these. The shields are looking all right. Precision. Not really my favorite. True North, no. Tag Bag, no. Strong Box, yeah, I'll give it to him. Um, Steel Cast, I mean, it fits decently well. Special Delivery, I'll, I'll say yes. And Standard Issue, so a decent amount of back bling that go well with this guy. Now we're going to try out his back bling with a bunch of different skins, and then we'll hop into some games, guys. So, the Black Knight. Black Knight actually looking pretty good. Carbide, probably not. Oh, wow. The Cuddle Team Leader with this actually looks amazing. I was not expecting that. It's it's a pretty nice looking backling. I mean, it's not anything too special, but it doesn't look bad by any means. Wow. Wow. I actually really like this backling. Not like, it's not amazing, but it just goes well with a lot of different skins. Like, um, most of these skins, I don't know why, it just fits pretty well with them. Even if it, if it shouldn't. Ooh, Triceratops with this definitely looks good. Um, Valor, mm, not my favorite, but all right for sure. Wow, Wukong, it fits in perfectly, it seems like. Abstract, I would actually use that skin if I use this backlink. Um, Bandolier, mm, no. Nah, looks all right, whatever. Oh, wow, the Burnout, it goes so well with. The Chinese uh, Mogul Master, looking all right. Yeah, I think it's gonna go well with all these different skins, all the skiing ones. Mission Specialist, probably wouldn't use that. Highland Warrior, definitely looking good. Hazard Agent, it's looking good. Wow. Do we really have a backling that goes well with like almost everything? Sort of like the Love Wings, I, I really think we do. Good, good, good. Definitely good, Rav Scallion. I would love to use this combo, which I probably will. Um, I mean, it looks all right with the Rogue Agent. I probably wouldn't use it too often. Tomato Head, nah, I'm not feeling it. Definitely good with technique. Um, steel sight, all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that actually looks decent. Yeah, no. I, I think it looks the best on the wingman though. I think this is a pretty good combo. But to be honest, some of the skiing back or like girl or skiing outfits definitely make it stand out a lot and it looks really good it fits in real nice codename elf yes like honestly i feel like i shouldn't even be going through these at this point they just it just looks good what do you guys think about it am i overhyping it or what 
Because, I don't know. Maybe it's like this new, um, new outfit layout. Because the skins look a little bit different in this than they used to. I don't know if that's just my mind playing tricks on me, but this thing looks really good on almost every single skin. I can't complain about it at all. All right, well, I think that's enough. Let's go over Whiplash and then Renegade looks good. Tactics Officer looks good as well. So we're going to hop into a game and just mess around with this skin and I'll tell you what I think about it. I'm surprised more people don't have it right, right now. Maybe not too many people know about it, but for this price, I really don't know if you can get a better skin on it. Like, you can't get... Okay, the Battle Pass skins are always going to be the best deal in this game, but this is the second best deal by far. You're basically paying for... Um, you're paying for half of what you would, plus 100 V-Bucks, if you were to spend $10. So you get 100 more V-Bucks for $5 than you would for 10. And usually the smaller amount of money you spend, the worse the offer is going to be. So that's already a plus there. So 600 V-Bucks and then a pretty good looking skin. Really nice backling as well. So if you have a lot of different skins or if you have any other skins, you can definitely rock this backling all day long. And I don't think you should be disappointed. It's um not... It's not really the brightest red color. I don't know what that is. Maybe that's just my eyesight right now, but it looks a little bit dull, to be honest. It's not super bright red. It's just a very dull red, but it's not dull in the sense of the word dull. I don't know how to explain this. Okay. There we go. It's a little bit brighter now. That, yeah, I guess that was just the weird lighting in that, in that building. Never really noticed that. I don't really have any complaints about this skin, to be honest. Like, I, I thought, um, I can't remember what I ranked it exactly, but I made a ranking video on all the League skins, wow. And I had no complaints about this one. I actually would put this like somewhere in the middle if I had to rank it, because I was really excited for it. And I, I, I don't know why, but the starter pack skins, it's just like, hey, here's a really good deal, and you know, thank you for playing our game. You just gotta spend five bucks and get this skin. And I still think the first starter pack skin is really good as well. Like, can't get it as of right now, I don't think. I don't know when, when it was in the shop last, because I, I bought it like right away, but um, I don't know when this one will go away. It'll probably be here until the end of season four, if I had to assume, but um, I think they do a really good job on these skins because so many people are going to buy them. You know? It's such a good deal. Alright, let's get that. So, um, tell me what you guys think about this skin. Do you like the back bling? Do you like the skin overall? Are you going to get it or is it not even worth it? Because at the end of the day, even if you're going to buy V-Bucks, um, it would be a better deal to buy to buy like a larger sum of V-Bucks, you know? At the end of the day. Oh my god. I'm I had this is my first game on, guys. Well, that was good. Good play by him. Alright, let's take a look at some emails with this guy. And then I'll end it. But, I really do like this skin. I think it's worth it. But, like, I'm, I'm just trying to get the point across that it's not a must-buy. Because, let's say you spend 5 bucks, And you don't really like the skin, but you'd rather spend maybe 25 bucks instead. Well, it's definitely a better deal to spend the 25 bucks than to just spend five dollars for 600 v bucks if that makes any sense but if you have 30 bucks laying around i would say just get that and then you can buy this the 25 dollar one but um let's try out these emotes i hope this guy isn't too overused because i really do like his design 
But at the end of the day, like, I just have so many skins that... Like, I don't even know what to use. I really don't. You gotta have that classic take the L. Let's, um, let, let's get him some Zanny. I can't even see. How do you move over in this? There we go. I'll do some of my favorites and then, you know, I'll end this. But thank you guys for watching. Tell me what you think. I would definitely suggest getting this skin. He's worth it, in my opinion. Good back bling, good skin. You get extra V-Bucks as well. It's five bucks. There's really no reason not. Fuck, excuse me. There's no reason not to. I, like, I really, I wouldn't understand why you wouldn't. Unless, let's say you have 25 bucks and you want to spend it just on V-Bucks and you don't really like the skin, then I would say just forget about this one. It's not the most important skin in the game. There's so many people who are going to have it. But thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.